How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, we're back on Forza Horizon 5 once again with more information about the game. Now there are two live streams today from Forza themselves, Forza Monthly and the Horizon 5 Let's Go stream. This video is all about the Forza Monthly stream and everything we were told in that stream about Horizon 5 and a bit of Horizon 4 as well. If this video does help you out guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. But yeah, let's get into it. In the live stream from Forza themselves today, we were shown the new livery editor, the new paint kind of workshop thing. And we were also shown a few upgrades and body kits and such and such like that, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Along with that, we were told about Horizon 4 having update 40. That's right, this week is update 40 for Horizon 4. Very quickly, going to go over what's in that update. Um, in the new festival playlist, there's nothing new, but you can get some old classic rare cars such as the Mazda Cosmo, a few backstage passes, the Rover SD1, the Koenigsegg CCX and the Ford Mustang S5. Those were a few of the rarer cars you can get this month on Forza Horizon 4. If you're interested, that's update 40. But anyway, let's get into the Horizon 5 information. Now, as I said, we were shown the livery editor. However, we were also shown a bit of a sneak peek of some new bodywork upgrades and body kits and, you know, customization options that we've not seen before. Let's quickly show you that first. Now, the stream started out in the Jeep Gladiator and we were shown a few different customization options for the Jeep Gladiator, as you can see on screen right now. It just goes to show, you know, how much customization is in this game, not only with engine upgrades, but also bodywork as well. Parts on this uh, Jeep Gladiator uh, rendered here in unparalleled detail thanks to ray tracing on the Xbox Series X. Check out those reflections. Woof! They are gorgeous. Um, and some sweet new upgrade parts there. Uh, uh, exclusive reveal here on the Forza Monthly. Anyway, enough of the Jeep. Let's get out of it. <laughs> there wasn't much shown on the Jeep Gladiator, but the Porsche GT2 RS had a lot more to show. As you can see on screen, there is a new body kit for the GT2 RS. It looks amazing. It sort of turns it into a more kind of slick race version. I mean, it's already a race car, but you see what I mean with the body kit on screen right now. And we were also shown how every car now also has, along with sort of a speed score and acceleration score, it's got something called the off-road score. Sort of tells you how good it is off-road. And it is a lot more easy now to make any car you want into an off-road vehicle. Not just a car which is good off-road anyway, but things such as the GT2 RS. You wouldn't usually want to drive this off-road, but now in Horizon 5, there's a lot of off-road upgrades you can give it. Not only is there the off-road suspension, as you can see on screen, but there's also the off-road race tyres and off-road tyres and drift tyres and all sorts. Loads of new tyre compounds and loads of new sort of options to make any car into an off-road car. I'm going to go with off-road race tyre compound. You can see as soon as I've selected that one, it's bumped my off-road score up to a pretty respectable 7.9. Um, I can give it a quick engine rev. I'm just going to add those parts to my car. And then we'll be shown a little bit of gameplay of this car driving around off-road and just how good it is. So yeah, it seems like they're focused a lot on off-road as well. So yeah, it seems like there's going to be obviously a lot more customization options, a lot more body kits and blah, blah, blah. It's a lot to look forward to. Now the livery editor, as you can see on screen, it looks a lot better. They have moved the layers from the bottom to the left hand side of the screen. So it's a bit more easier to see what layers on top of what, if that makes sense. And they've kind of given it sort of a Photoshop type look. When you go into each layer and you pick each, each item, it gives you that Photoshop vibe. It's very simple to understand. It's very quick to do. Um, it's very user friendly. Now I didn't use the livery editor a massive amount in Horizon 4 and previous Horizons. I did use it quite a bit, but not enough to know every single change that we now have in Horizon 5. I'm gonna try to leave most of the good clips on screen so any knowledgeable paint designers um, from previous horizons you might be able to spot some new things one of the things that was said is new is they have massively increased the resolution of the you know the designs in free roam in horizon 4 and all the others apparently it used to be not really an issue but an unfortunate downside that you'd make a nice livery on your car and then when you go into free roam it just looks a bit pixelated it doesn't look quite as good it just struggled well now that's been massively improved and whatever you do on your car whatever you design will be just as perfect 
in free roam, if that makes sense. Now once again, this was only a sneak peek, so unfortunately we didn't get massive details about it, but we got enough to see the basics of it and how, how different and how much cooler it is. Now we were shown and told information about some new multiplayer features and game modes in Horizon 5 as well. Let's go through them. Horizon Arcade. This was showcased on stream. Horizon Arcade seems very similar to Fortathon Live. You get given mini games to do with other players in the world and you work together to gain prizes and blah 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 blah. Arcade type games such as Piñata where you have to go around smashing up piñatas and other ones such as Bullseye where ramps spawn around the map with targets and you kind of got to go up the ramps and hit the targets. You get what I mean. Arcadey type games, very similar to Fortathon Live, that type of style that you get to do with your friends. Horizon Tour was also showcased. This is a very similar thing to Horizon Adventure, where you sort of do races with your friends and with other people and then drive to the next location. However, in this case, you're working with these other players. It's you and other players versus the driver tars, the AI. Very casual, you just work together do races, you know, a very casual way to play. Horizon Open was also showcased as well. This is basically what team adventure and online adventure used to be. Um, proper PvP against other players, you know, the Eliminator, all of that is within Horizon Open. The difference between that and Horizon Tour is in Horizon Tour you're working with players, in Horizon Open you're sort of working against them, you know, online adventure. The new Eliminator was also shown as well. Now Eliminator works in the same way as it does on Horizon 4, however a few little changes such as the starting vehicle on the Eliminator is not the Mini anymore, it's the Volkswagen Beetle. And it's also interesting to know that the Forza Horizon 5 map was partly designed with the Eliminator in mind, so it can come up with some very very interesting and exciting races um, with the fact that the map was based around making the Eliminator more exciting. Now we were also told information on what the kudos and the gift drops are which we heard about in the past. Now kudos are essentially points that you receive for being nice, for playing the game properly, for being a good sport. For example, driving nicely in races, people thank you for that and you gain kudos. Gift drops, the more gifts you give to other players the more kudos you get, so you get more points, they sort of build up. We don't know if we can spend these yet or if it's just sort of a statistic on your profile but you get them the more nicer you are. Now of course this brings up the question what are gift drops? And gift drops is essentially the way to gift a vehicle to a random player in a certain category. Unfortunately this doesn't mean that I can just gift a car to my friend. It doesn't quite work like that unfortunately. However, it does work like this. Let's say you have a car that you don't use anymore, you've got some nice upgrades on it and you want to give it away. Go to gift drops, click on it, and it gives you certain categories to pick where to send this car to. A new player, a returning player, a Hall of Fame member, um, someone with a lot of kudos if you want to send it to someone who deserves it. You can essentially pick which group to send it to and it will be dispersed to someone at random. You can also add a little message and sort of sign it with your gamer tag, but that's essentially what gift drops are. You can't gift it to someone specifically, but just if you don't want to use it anymore, you want to gain a bit of kudos, send it away, give it to someone else to enjoy. That's everything that was shown in the Forza monthly update video of Horizon 5. Very cool stuff. I like it when they show us the you know, the new UI and the new features and the stuff like that. Very cool, very exciting. Anyway, guys, if you've been like, if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 5 content. I'll see you all later.